good parents for a Cabbage Patch Kid. The Cabbage Patch Kids. Each doll is different, and you can pretend to adopt them. My baby has a real diaper. You can love and care for them, like your very own. You're a pal. You're the only one. I love you. They're each one of a kind. They're Cabbage Patch Kids. You can give them all your love. Cabbage Patch Kids are each sold separately. Each doll comes with a pretend birth certificate and adoption papers from Coleco. Welcome to another holiday shopping season. When the doors opened at this Wilkes Valley, Pennsylvania store, the pushing and shoving began. One woman was knocked to the floor and suffered a broken leg. <laughs> This scene has been repeated in hundreds of stores across the country that advertise the Cabbage Patch Kids. The Cabbage Patch Kids are dolls about 16 inches high. They don't walk, talk, wet their pants, or grow hair. They don't do much of anything. But they have upset the supply and demand cycle to an astonishing degree. There has never been such a first-year demand for a new doll. As far as I'm concerned, they're the worst looking things I've ever seen. I mean, they are pathetic looking, they're homely. I don't know what exactly the attachment is. I think they're cute, but kind of funny looking. Last year it was strawberry shortcake, this year it's cabbage batch doll. The dolls originated here in rural Georgia about five years ago, the brainchild of 27-year-old Xavier Roberts. The original sold for $125, but when Coleco Industries took over the marketing of the dolls, they made copies and priced them at about $25 and the company couldn't make them fast enough. They're manufacturing about 200,000 a week in Asia and chartering planes to get them to stores in the United States. But demand exceeds supply, and there is only one reason. Um, I, I like them. This supply and demand cycle created by this doll is a marketer's dream. The owner of the company decided to treat it like a collectible, like a Hummel or a collector plate, and buy it from a customer and then quickly sell it for a very low profit. So people are coming in here selling their $20 dolls to the store for $40. The store then turns around and resells them for $50. Most buyers can't express why this doll is so popular this year, and others can't explain why they want to buy it but they do want it. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like their faces, but I want one. Hello, friends. It's Christy, and I am at one of my very favorite places these last few years of my life. Uh, I am at Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland, Georgia. In case you don't know what Babyland Hospital is, and many people do not know what it is, it is the birthplace of the Cabbage Patch Kids. And if you are a child of the 80s like I was, you know that Cabbage Patch Kids were it. <laughs> it was the it toy for most little girls in the 80s. And I never got one until I was Let's see, I didn't get one until 1985, and I think somehow that didn't, um, it kind of stuck with me because they came out in 1983, and of course, everybody remembers the fights in the stores at Christmas time when parents were trying to get their little girls and little boys, Cabbage Patch Kids, uh, that had come out that year, and um, I wasn't fortunate to, enough to get one until I was... A couple of years older and always love them always have loved dolls um, I just think that they bring an innocence to our lives and to children's lives that a lot of other toys can't do um, it's maternal and it really is just innocent so fast forward as an adult I began collecting the cabbage patch uh, little people soft sculptures and I joined the collector's club that was here at Babyland and uh, sort of just started something that that I really enjoyed. I was, so I wanted to vlog with you all today and do kind of a little bit of a documentary about Babyland. The Babyland that I am at now was uh, built in 2009. It is not the original Babyland. Um, the first one was just a couple of miles away and it was a much, much smaller 
uh, more intimate space and uh, Xavier Roberts built that in 1983 so it is the 40th anniversary of Babyland in 2023 and then we are also at the 45th anniversary of the little people which is what Cabbage Patch Kids were called before they were called Cabbage Patch Kids they called them the little people so um, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of Babyland and you can see what it's all about we will show you a birth from Mother Cabbage and um, it's a little different if you've never seen it you have to take your childlike imagination and just let your kid yourself be a kid again because when you come to Babyland, you are a kid again you have to just be a kid again and forget about your troubles forget about what's out there in the world and um, enjoy the babies and enjoy the people uh, staff here has always been so sweet and so kind to to me and to everyone really and um if it's like i said i've met some incredible friends through collecting and um, i just wanted to share one of my favorite places with you on smoky mountain faith food and fun and if you like this video of course give us a thumbs up and like subscribe and hit the notification bell because we want to keep bringing you some fun videos but for me this one is a little bit personal because I truly do love the place that I'm talking about so without further ado welcome to Babyland Babyland General Hospital is a beautiful Georgian-style mansion nestled in the foothills of the North Georgia Mountains. Babyland is the birthplace of the Cabbage Patch Kids and Xavier Roberts' Little People. First, before we go inside, I wanted to show you around the beautiful outside as the creator, Xavier Roberts, loves plants, flowers, and gardening, and that is evident all around as you can see the beautiful flowers and plants to enjoy and one of the best things to do at Babyland after you visit it inside is to sit out on the rocking chairs and simply enjoy the views of the North Georgia mountains as well as Mount Yona. Let's head inside to see what Babyland is all about you will find Xavier's extensive collection of autographs and photographs from dignitaries, movie stars, and other VIPs. It's pretty cool to see who has either been to Babyland, or has a Cabbage Patch Kid, or simply has wished Xavier Roberts well. Hi, welcome to Babyland. Once you've registered with one of the kind LPNs, at the desk at Babyland in the large foyer area, you will see glass cases full of soft sculpture babies. And you will also see a nursery window with some of the newest arrivals at Babyland. What we're seeing here happens to be the new 2023 Babyland exclusive babies. And they've got colorful hair as you can see here. Aren't they super cute? Do not pass up the museum cases because this is where it all started. You can see one of Xavier's first sculpts there was Dexter. And then of course you see a Coleco mass market baby on the right. And on the left you can see a Helen Blue, which is one of the first little people or Cabbage Patch Kids ever made. You do not want to skip this part of Babyland because you want to be able to see all of these amazing and beautiful works of art which is where the entire craze started and some of these were sculpted by Xavier himself as well as his family including his mom sisters and other friends that he had helping him in the very beginning of Babyland continuing on 
this little fella sitting here is named Wade and he is a Helen Blue. He is number one of the very first edition of the Little People. And as you can see here, there are lots of these oldies as we collectors refer to them as in the museum cases here. And each one is of course, one of a kind. The smell of baby powder beckons you down the hospital hallway into the nursery. Here on the left, we've got the blue nursery where the smaller babies are generally living and waiting for their adoptive parents. You've got some lullabies there on the left side there. And you can see the decor is just so precious. Um, here's some more lullaby babies. They are 12 inches and each one is hand sculpted right here at Babyland. And here we've got some of the Easter newborns with colorful hair. And in the pink nursery, we've got a whole crib full of Easter newborns. Aren't they precious? I'm really drawn to the one in the middle there. She might come home with me. And here we've got some more newborn babies. The bald ones are newborns. And more lullaby babies. And now we are in the big kid nursery. These are the 22 inch soft sculpture and some of them with the colorful hair are from the Easter edition and the ones with the more natural colored hair and ponytails are your general edition babies. All of these are 22 inches and they're playing and just waiting for that special mom or dad to come and bring them home. They are absolutely gorgeous, and again, you will not find any two that are alike. You really have to just bring your imagination along to Babyland with you and become a kid again, because that really is what it's all about, is enjoying the simplicity of childhood. <laughs> As we leave the nursery, we're entering the larger retail space where you will find many, many Babyland exclusives like we see here, celebrating the 40th anniversary of Babyland. And this is Mother Cabbage. This is where all Cabbage Patch kids and little people are born. And we're gonna show you a live birth in just a little bit after we do the tour. And there's even a wishing well where you can make a wish right next to Mother Cabbage. Look at the beautiful amethyst and you can see all the babies just waiting for someone to bring them home. Here we see more stuffies and plushies um, that children just love to, to purchase and bring home and we've got a lot of kids here at this treehouse and on the babyland school bus again they're just waiting they're waiting for the perfect mom or dad to come and adopt them and bring them home they're Yay! just so cute and we've also got the circus room here this used to be a birthday party room uh, but it has since been turned into just a fun themed room where you can look at the plushies and stuffed animals and sometimes they've even got babies here riding on this uh, Ferris wheel. But it's a fun, colorful and bright room and definitely worth checking out while you're here at Babyland. Now we're entering the Mount Yona Magical Forest. This was a ballroom at Babyland pre-2020 um, where they would hold large events and weddings and tea parties and all sorts of fun events like that but it has since been turned into a Christmas wonderland. Uh, Xavier himself helped design and bring this room to life and it is just absolutely beautiful. Look, you've got Santa Claus there with his Cabbage Patch Kids sleigh with a lot of the kids just hanging out with Santa there. Each tree was lovingly decorated in a different theme and color scheme. And you can just really feel the Christmas spirit in this room. 
And we've got a family of bears here, which are common in the Georgia mountains. And of course, do not feed those animals. I think I hear the call for a mother cabbage birth. Let's go check it out. Cabbage dilation is eight leaves apart. All staff on standby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you'd like to view a delivery, please go now to the center of the hospital in front of the big banjee crystal trees. Cabbage dilation is now eight leaves apart. All final signs do appear normal. However, if we have any gentlemen in our audience who think they might get a little queasy, please feel free to go back to our father's waiting room and pace. Cabbage dilation is nine leaves apart. Cabbage dilation is ten leaves apart. Nurse Tina to delivery staff. Mother cabbage is in labor. All staff code green. All staff code green. Good afternoon and welcome to Babyland. Is this anybody's first time? Right, several. Well, don't be nervous or afraid. I'm Nurse Tina and I'm an LPN. That means I am a licensed patch nurse. And I'm going to assist Mother Cabbage with this delivery today. The way we know Mother Cabbage has gone into labor is the crystals at the bottom of the patch begin to glow brighter and the muddy bees above my head. Well, y'all, they sprinkle down a magical pollen dust. And that magical pollen dust determines if we're getting a boy or a girl. So, of course, my next question, y'all, is what are y'all hoping for today? Y'all want a boy or a girl? Boy. boy. Oh, everybody was pretty much team boy. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to try to get a heartbeat. Now, if it's fast, that usually means it's a girl. If it's a little bit slower, that means it's a boy. But Mother Cabbage has been playing tricks on me all day long. So, she may throw in a girl and it be a little bit slower heartbeat or it may be a boy and it may have a fast heartbeat. So y'all have to be quick and listen, okay? Let's see if we can get a good heartbeat. Let's see. We might get a pretty good heartbeat. All right, what's the verdict? What y'all think? Y'all think it's a girl? You think it's a boy? You still team boy? Put those finger tie in here. Cross them if you want a girl. Pink, pink, pink. A boy, blue, blue, blue. I'm going to do a quick sonogram. Y'all keep those fingers crossed and keep wishing. It does look like we are getting a happy, healthy baby. And let's just see. It does look like, what's it going to be? We are getting a girl this afternoon. So let me get my blanket ready. I almost thought it was a boy. All right, let me get my blanket. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna give Mother Cabbage a shot of a magicillin. Now, magicillin does not hurt or harm Mother Cabbage, but it does help those leaves to relax before, during, and after her labor and delivery. So let's get that started. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna give her just a little bit extra today because we've worked her really, really hard. All right, I've got that started. And the next thing I'm gonna do is probably the most important thing we do all during the delivery. I'm gonna give her an extra large dose of TLC. Who in our audience can tell me what TLC stands for? Tender, loving care, and that's right. And all us nurses and doctors, we believe in giving massive doses of tender, loving care. All right, y'all. Mother Cabbage has been delivering babies all day long, so she's a little anxious, maybe just a little bit nervous. But I'm really gonna be honest with you. She's a whole lot tired, so she's really gonna need some motivation. So I'm gonna really need y'all to help me get through this delivery this afternoon. Can y'all do that for me? All right, I tell you what, don't you cross your fingers and if you can cross them toes, even cross them toes, because we need to make sure Mother Cabbage is a full 10 leaves apart. And y'all, I do believe you 
right now. She is, so we're off to a wonderful start. Now the next procedure I'm gonna do here is called an easyotomy. Does anybody wanna repeat that? An easyotomy. All right, I'm gonna tell you a couple things about this procedure. The first thing is I want y'all to think of how big the whole world is. And we're the only hospital in the whole world who performs this procedure. That's number one. And number two is by doing this procedure, Nurse Tina has never had to do a C-section. And yes, for all y'all newbies, that is a cabbage section. And we don't have to do one of those today. So we're going to do it really good. All right, now I've already told y'all Mother Cabbage is a little tired and a little anxious. So I'm gonna try to get really, really comfortable and I want y'all to dig as deep as you can. Dig deep down in and get a really, really, really deep breath in. <gasps> and then close them eyes and slowly let it out. I think that might be helping just a little bit. Let's try that one more time. A deep breath in. <gasps> and slowly. Good job, y'all. Y'all really helped me out there, I tell you. I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna count one, two, and when I get to three, I'm gonna give y'all the job of yelling, push. We're gonna wake Mother Cabbage up so she'll deliver this baby girl. Y'all ready? On three. One, two, three. Push. That's a pretty good push. I did see some movement. And actually, I'll really be honest with you guys. I actually saw a head, and that's the best possible news I could give you. Because if I'd seen an arm or a leg, we'd be having what's known as a branch delivery, like here on this trees. And you know what happens when tree branches get tugged together? It takes a while to get them separated apart. So y'all really, really locked up, because if y'all had plans, I would mess them up. So we've locked out one more time. Now, I think if y'all give me one more big push, we're gonna see what this beautiful little girl looks like. Y'all ready? You ready? On three. One, two, three. Good job, and guess what? I do have a hold of her. Come on, sweet baby, come on. Oh, come on. She's coming. Come on, baby. We got people wanting to meet you. Look how pretty she is. Isn't she gorgeous now? Now, Nurse Tina does need to turn her upside downwards and pat her a little bit. Let's get everything started. And then I'm gonna lay her in this blanket and wrap her up really, really fast because we don't want her to be cold. And then I'm gonna pick her up and I'll tell y'all just a few things that I noticed about this sweet baby girl. Can y'all see her? All right, the first thing I did notice is she was more involved. And that's all right, she's beautiful anyway. But that does mean our interns didn't get around to fertilizing her part of our patch last night. So the next thing I see is those big, beautiful brown eyes. Y'all see them brown eyes? And guess what, guys? She has an outie belly button where I gently clipped her from Mother Cabbage. Now, the next part, it's a tad bit embarrassing part. So y'all have to promise you won't laugh too loud. But like all babies born here at Babyland, she does have the Xavier Roberts birthmark on her little bottom, y'all see? Now, just in just a minute, we're going over to the baby land delivery nursery for her very first checkup where we'll count her fingers and toes and check her heartbeat but before i take this sweet little girl over there there's something we have to do anybody know what we need to do you need to name her very good anybody have a suggestion for her name What you got? Uh, Emily. Emily, that's a pretty name. What you got? Avery. 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 Yes. So, Avery and 
Emily, Avery and Emily. Okay, those are good names. Let's see what she thinks. What do you think about the name Avery and Emily? All right, okay. <gasps> yeah, I'll tell them. She said she loved those names. And also she said to tell y'all someday she's going to be famous with those names. Now y'all give this sweet baby girl a big old applause because it is her birthday, y'all. And she wants me to tell y'all something. Wait, what do you say? Oh, she said she is adoptable and she'd love to go home with somebody. Now that we've witnessed the birth of Avery Emily, we're going to go adopt that sweet little Easter newborn I saw in the nursery. Miss Christy, I'm Nurse Tina at Babyland. You're going to adopt that beautiful girl you have in your lap today. I have. I'm going to ask you a very important question. Do you promise that when you leave here, you're going to love her? Do I need to raise my hand? Not yet. Oh, I do promise. All right. I ask everybody that comes in the door before I do anything if they're going to love our babies before they go home. How do we not love them? Oh, well, sometimes we get different answers. And I just 
I have to make sure. So I know you're going to love her. I know you're going to take care of her. And I know you know this is going to be her official adoption papers where she gets to go home with you to Tennessee today. This is her certified birth certificate. Very cool. She was a female. She weighed one pound five ounces and was 17 inches long when she was born. Oh, wow. Most important thing, she does have a code here, a code on her side, and a code on every paper that has her name on it for you to keep, make sure and know you got the right baby. Now, we took her security off because we always do that. Now, I need you to sign this adoption paper, and then I'm going to ask you to do a little oath, okay? Okay. Alright, this means you are taking on the responsibility of that beautiful baby girl from today forward. And today is May the 2nd, so of 2023. Now, you don't have to stand up, but you do need to raise your right hand. And I'm just going to ask you a couple questions and you can say I do at the end or you're welcome to repeat it. Just whichever you prefer. Okay? Alright, do you promise to love your Cabbage Patch Baby? I promise to love my Cabbage Patch Baby. Show her patience and kindness because she might get in a little bit of trouble along the way, but nothing bad. I show, will show her patience and kindness no matter what she does. And I want you to remember in your heart that you did fall in love with her today. And if you did, I want you to say, I do. I do. All right, that means Yay. as of today, you are certified her mother. When I give you these papers, it's definitely official. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, yay. Oh, welcome. She's your welcome to our patch, little Aurora Merriweather. Yay.